Karj, the Kenmore in-house chef, one of my most delectable and indulgent meals happens to be lobster bisque. But at 1,245 calories a serving, well, I don't get to indulge in it that often. But don't worry, today I'm gonna show you how to make my healthy, happy, and flavorful lobster bisque. So the ingredients that we're gonna need today, start off with some fennel. We're gonna chop that up into about a cup's worth. Next, I'm gonna grab some garlic, and then we're gonna mince it down. I'm gonna heat up our pot, and we're gonna get going right over here. I'm also gonna be using a half a cup of shallot in here. I'm gonna toss in all of our fennel, and our garlic, and our shallot. I have a spice house that's kind of close to me, and I love going in there and finding out what they just made spice-wise, and this is their version of Old Bay. And it's just, it just lit up the room when I walked in, and I'm gonna use it today. It's great to use with any kind of seafood, so that's about a tablespoon going down. I just added in a teaspoon of cayenne pepper because I want to give it a nice kick. This is where we want to start salting it. I'm gonna use about a teaspoon. And now we're gonna do some fresh cracked black pepper. I've got some tomato paste over here. I'm gonna put about a tablespoon of this in here, and then we're gonna let it caramelize, almost to the point where you think it's burning, but it's really just giving it deep, rich flavor. Let's deglaze this now with some white wine. And now this is the part again where we're gonna turn up the heat and we're gonna let it reduce, so there's not gonna be any wine left in this pot. I've got two cups of homemade chicken stock right here. I'm gonna pour that right in. I'm gonna add in this entire bottle of clam juice. It's gonna smell like the sea, but we've got another secret ingredient too I'll tell you about in just one minute. And two more cups of stock. Now we're gonna let that sit for about 20 minutes while the flavors come together. If you buy steamed lobster that's frozen, make sure you thaw it overnight and reserve that water. It's fresh seawater, it's only gonna add so much more flavor into your stock. Next up, I've got one can of whole San Marzano tomatoes, a whole wheat orzo. It's gonna replace the roux that you normally would put into a bisque. And I'm gonna add about three tablespoons in here. And last but not least, a bay leaf, always good for some flavor. Put that right in there. And another little fun touch is our cognac. It's only gonna add about 20 calories per tablespoon. And one more herb that I put in here is some fresh thyme. You wanna put the whole sprig in there, you don't even have to peel off the leaves. So it's been about 45 minutes, and the pasta, the orzo, just kind of gets really full, and it's just gonna give it that nice creamy texture that we're looking for. Take a big lemon like this, and I wanna roll it on the counter. Yeah. Now we've got some lemon juice in there. I bet you this is gonna brighten this puppy up just the way I want it to be. Mm. It's singing to me, it's so good. Let's fish out all of these Little things like our bay leaf is in here, our thyme is in here. And what I'm gonna do is start pureeing it in batches, and that way we can put it into a big bowl, put it back in here when we start adding our cream. And of course our lobster. Okay, so you wanna take the blow hole out of here because that steam builds up and you don't want it to, you know, have the lid pop off and somebody gets hurt. Be careful, this is hot again, so when you're working with this, Make sure you're doing everything a little bit more cautiously than when you normally would put something cold into a blender. And that is looking like lobster bisque, but look at, we are saving ourselves so many calories. So, we finished it off, we pureed it. It's gorgeous now, I'm just gonna dump it back into our pot because we still wanna keep this hot. This is gorgeous, fresh Maine lobster. It comes frozen and it tastes just the same because all I did was steam it with a little bit of salt water. And I'm just gonna take some of these pieces and chunk them up a little bit, just so everybody gets some lobster. Now here's for the double part of this whole lobster. We're gonna add in our cream. I'm just really happy that I've made this soup for about a thousand calories less than its competitors out there, and you're not gonna miss anything. The flavors are there, it is full of love. I'm telling you, your friends are gonna love this, your family's gonna love it more, and it's easy to make. So, you know, once in a while, splurge on something fun like this. I'm just gonna plate it up in a bowl. Some of our beautiful little claws, just as a garnish on top here. A couple of chives to make it just that much more elegant. All right, so there you have it, an elegant meal that you can actually afford to indulge in. Thanks again, everybody. I'm Chef Carrie Karsh, and don't forget, kiss the cook.